Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So I'm gonna run you guys through my fruit trees today. So this is one of my peach trees and what I'm doing and I'm trying to do is do an edible border around my yard. Um, these peach trees started blooming in late November, early, early December. They were like in full bloom. I didn't think he was gonna make it, but they made it through. And these trees are loaded down. This one all the way up to the top. This one just loaded down all the way down. Um, I did thin some of these peaches out, but I still didn't thin enough. But at the same time, I am trying to help feed the birds because the birds have been killing us these previous years about the peaches in the top. They go up there and they just pick holes in them. And um, so I wanted enough for them. So, um, these are tall trees. I know a lot of people will cap them off at a certain height, but then your birds still get to you. So I wanted these high enough where the birds can stay up high and we can get what's low and uh, meet them. But they are just loaded down all the way down, guys. I mean, these, these peaches are every single where. I mean, I'm loving it. I'm loving it. And so if we get down to this tree right here, as you can see, I still need to thin out some um, but I'm kind of waiting until I thin them out and these are still some good sized peaches as well too um, Even though there's three on here. These are still good sized peaches um, They're they're loaded down the tons of them um, If you look down here Starting on the fence there we have those bad vines Growing all the way down And back behind me too. I had some growing there as well too on the fence uh, This is the second peach tree that I planted um, Last year and so it has a few peaches on it right now. Um, I did plant it kind of close. I like the closeness because I want that border. So my border, I want, when I look at the door, I don't want to see the road. I want to be able to see fruit trees. Um, and it gives you that extra privacy. So here's some more peaches here. And again, this tree is just loaded down just like the other ones. Um, this one right here was the first peach tree that I planted. This tree is probably about, I guess about eight, nine years old and she's about 30 feet tall and it is loaded down with peaches as well too we did lose a couple of limbs through the high wind last night we had a little storm blow through but as you see we still have plenty of peaches but and if people ask why you plant so much well i like to share when people ask i like to share and we still have enough for home so now let's get into a little bit of these blueberries that we got so this is one of my blueberry bushes here um, and I have a lot of blueberry bushes and every last one of them are loaded down this is kind of like one of the smaller ones so we're gonna get down to the other one in just a minute and as you can see here there's one of my limbs there that broke off the peach tree um, so it's still clinging on so we got to get out here and we got to cut that off and it was loaded down with peaches as well and again my muscadine vines all the way down there back this way so we're gonna have plenty of muscadines on the fence um, these are the ice and black muscadines so they are very sweet and so we're gonna come down here and take a look at a little bit taller blueberries so this is one of my blueberries here it's tall it's loaded down with blueberries this one here is tall loaded down with blueberries and these two that are right here loaded down with blueberries as well so we're actually going to have a lot of blueberries that we can actually share with everybody um, last year we let a lot of them go to waste because we didn't have people to come pick even though we call and say hey we got fruit come pick For some reason they didn't want to come pick so as we're going to take a look at some more stuff I want to do want to show you the pink lemonade blueberries which is awesome uh, that's my wife's favorite so stand by let's get over to that Not the pink lemonade blueberry one but I do want to show you this, this is one of the earlier uh, fruiting ones and as you can see here it is loaded down with some almost ripe blueberries on it right now uh, I did have blackberries thornless blackberries starting to grow up in between that they were not supposed to run but guess what they will run so it's my blackberry bushes growing up in there and as you can see they're right here as well too so they're gonna have they're gonna be loaded down with blackberries um 
this is my new growth for next year that were fruit next year on these three here and this is fruiting this year here so once these fruit and die back i need to cut them off but i got them all the way down that way as well too so we do have quite a few blackberries throwing this blackberries that uh we we, we have and these are called arapaho blackberries so they give you the variety that i got planted here but again like i said they will spread so they're not supposed to spread but this plant right here spread it to the blueberry bush and also it spread it right here as well too so they will spread even though they say they're not supposed to spread they will spread so keep note of that if you get it because they say they don't spread trust me they will spread so let's move on down to the pink lemonade and as you can see we got some more muscadines on the fence going that way i just want it covered with just nothing but fruit trees all right so here's my pink lemonade here and oh my goodness this it's loaded down with pink lemonade blueberries on it and when these are ripe they're going to turn a dark pink they're very sweet and they're going to be a dark dark pink so when they're ready i'll do a video on that when they start to get ready um, but there are tons of them on here and i think we have three of these pink lemonade blueberry shrubs so it's a lot of them on there so again we, we're going to have a lot of fruit this year and hopefully we can get some people to come pick and just enjoy the fruit with us so now we're going to get over here to our big blueberry tree i call it my big one and you can see for size comparison it is tall and not only tall it is loaded down with a lot of blueberries so this tree alone right here i mean you can you can feed a family for a good minute with these blueberries here it's a lot of them so again these we're just gonna I, I i really like i like them growing i like seeing them grow i like benefiting from the fruit um blueberries is really really good for your health so i think everything that we planted so far is is, is good for your health um, i did add some apple trees here uh, this is a golden darset golden darset and this is an anna an anna apple and of course you can see you still got you got some apples on there now so we got the apple trees and these are good down in our zone to grow actually and this is a golden darset golden darset does not need a pollinator the anna apple do so the golden darsets will pollinate the anna and even though the golden darset does not need an, a pollinator this will still pollinate the golden darset so the anna will still pollinate that so which is awesome um, this is another pink lemonade uh, blueberry shrub and as you can see we got some got a few on here and she's starting to grow out look at all the new growth on there that's coming so um that's awesome we actually got some blooms right there with a few more blueberries going to be coming there so again pink lemonade blueberry here and so we have a lot more fruit trees i'm we're gonna we're gonna flip a second and then we're gonna go over to the pear trees so we're gonna show you a couple of pear trees in just a second all right guys so we're over here with the pear trees um this is loaded down with pears on it but I'm gonna tell you, the birds been killing us with these pears. They're going in here knocking the smaller pears down. I probably got a couple hundred of them on the ground uh, that they knocked out the tree, but it's going. So last year, this limb, this limb was huge. It was it was full of pears. It broke up there. I tried to zip tie it, and I was supposed to cut it, but I'm glad I didn't cut it because now it is still full of pears. And these pears are extra extra sweet, um, so which is awesome. So this is one of my pear trees and it's probably about a good 30 feet, 30 feet tall and I have no idea how we're gonna reach those pears way up there because there are tons of them up at the top of there as well too. So now we're gonna go over to, by the way, we got a couple of pears on this one as well too. Um, this is, it's growing, uh, I kind of broke it and so it's got a lot of new growth on it this year and she's starting back to Produce a few pears, so next year we should have tons of pears on it. Um, this one is just outrageously full of pears as well, too. So we're gonna have tons of pears, guys. So I mean, again, it's all the way to the top up there. It's full of pears all the way at the top. Again, I have no idea how we're gonna get up there to get them. Maybe shake the tree or something, but it's also full of pears as well, too. So to sum the video up, we're gonna go on to the other side. There's a couple of other pear trees over there. And also, not only the pear trees, we do have 
um, one more peach tree over there I do want to show you guys and then we'll end the video so stand by all right guys so we're on the other side now these are some pears that uh, have some I got these three pear trees from a nursery um, I'll tell you a, a, a quick story about that they were in a pot they were all laying on the ground the pot was about that big around the pot was busting open because of the root ball after I got it back here at the house I took an axe and actually axed up the root ball to break it up because it was so tight uh, so they're just now this year starting really to branch out a whole lot more than what it what it was so I'm pretty sure the roots are starting to grow out from that messed up root ball they had um, so which is great so like I said I got three of those from the nursery and they are starting to produce pears now I don't know how these pears taste the other pears that you just looked at are very sweet I'm not sure about these pears because this is the first time we actually gonna get pears off of that we can actually eat so we get a chance to see how they taste and again that's got some on here um, some on this one so they're they're producing really really good so uh, here's some smaller ones there and uh, here we go we got some some bigger ones in here some bigger ones up there so now we're going to go over here to the nectarine tree um we're going to pass by one of my peach trees now i'm growing this from a seed so i grew this one from a seed this is going to be a peach tree uh so we get the chance to see next year maybe we'll have some peaches on it and see how they taste as well too this it's my nectarine tree so when we bought this it was supposed to be a peach tree so and we planted it to be a peach tree but it, apparently it changed its mind from being a peach to a nectarine so which i'm happy still happy about that so we're actually going to have some nectarines on here uh, they are a pretty good size already so they're growing they're in a growing phase so we get a chance to see how they taste i haven't tasted the nectarine before so i'll get a chance to see how they taste and see how it turns out but i am really proud of the tree as well too so we planted it last year and this is how it is this year and here we have another blueberry um yeah, right there broke but it is full of blueberries as well too so i'm very happy with everything that we got and if you look behind me got another peach tree here planted this last year uh she do have some peaches on it so we get a chance to eat some peaches off this one as well too and of course there we go with more muscadine vines and we saw the peach tree so very happy about everything i hope you guys enjoyed the video hope i didn't talk too long but i just wanted to kind of show you guys uh some of the stuff that we do have we have a lot more but um i'm running out of time <laughs> so i hope you guys enjoyed the video if you have any questions please come in below with your questions and I hope you guys enjoyed it if you haven't subscribed, hit that subscribe button and uh, let's grow the channel. Thank you.